Walt in the Box books. What does sight mean to us? Hmm? I can't tell where I am, what's behind me. It's one thing to close your eyes or put on a blindfold for, for a few minutes, for a little bit. Try it for an hour or two, a couple hours. Sight means an awful lot to uh, us as humans. Doing a little research for this book, uh, I learned that sight is 70% of our perception as people. 70%, imagine that. Imagine never seeing anything again, just everything is black. You can you learn everything else through taste, touch, and sound. That's... Now imagine that it's just taken away from you like that. Boom. What do you do? How do you cope? You lose everything. Say, like, well, I can talk to people on the phone. How do you dial the phone? I, you know, maybe a phone, an old phone that you can touch the buttons, a little cell phone, newer one, that you can't see the digital display. How do you do that? Now, I do wear glasses. I am nearsighted. I can see without my glasses, but everything's an unfocused blur. It's not so bad that I couldn't get along. If you took my glasses away, I could still get along. But... How would you get along with no sight at all? I can see things if I put them up close to my face. Think about veterans. Now it's rare for a veteran to be completely blinded because when they go into combat, when they're in combat zone, they usually wear either goggles or eye protection, some kind of eye protection. They know they're gonna fight, they protect their vulnerable spots, like their eyes. But it does happen. It took a lot to research this, this story, simply because there's almost nothing out there about blinded veterans. And then it was even harder to research because if you look back for uh, veterans' hospitals, no one wants to talk about being wounded or what happened or how they got there. So it was, it was a difficult thing to figure out. So this is a story, Kiss the Darkness, about a, an Air Force uh, sergeant. He's walking to work one day, and the base he's on ends up coming under a border attack. He's Air Force. He's an office guy. He's not... Uh, not a combat guy, so he doesn't have him on any kind of eye protection. And his sight's wiped out. Everything's taken away. He's sent to a rehab hospital. And that's what this story's about. So let's uh, see if I can <laughs> focus enough to read a little bit of Kiss the Darkness. A siren began to wail. Incoming, several people nearby began to scream. Robert grabbed the chin strap on his combat helmet and began trying to buckle it. He looked over at Franklin. Incoming? Here? We're on base. Who attacks us on base? Franklin was trying to buckle his own chin strap. I don't know, but we'd better skip breakfast and get to the office. Both he and Robert attempted to run across the compound. Something exploded around 20 yards in front of them, and both Robert and Franklin came, came to a skidding stop. As they stopped, another explosion hit a few yards closer. Oh shit, they're walking them, Franklin yelled. Robert turned and looked at Franklin. Walking what? The world seemed to collapse onto itself. Robert's ears were full of noise, and a bright flash was the last thing he ever saw. It was a scream, a scream in pain. Medic! Medic, get over here now! Someone was pushing on Robert's chest. Stay with me! Stay with me! Shit, he's going into shock. Kiss the darkness. Kiss me in the light. Kiss me in the bedroom. Kiss me, dear, all night. Robert tried to take a deep breath, but couldn't seem to get, in, get any air. It felt as if someone was sitting on his chest, stopping him from breathing. Everything was dark. Again, he tried to take a breath. You're my honey darling, the one I truly love. So kiss me in the darkness, my angel from above. Robert could hear the song ringing in his ears. The musical group was called Enlisted Blue. He liked several of their songs, but for some reason this one kept playing in his head. He was floating, floating along in darkness. I love you, honey, with all my heart. You can always count on this. And when you're gone, you need to know I'll always miss your kiss. Robert tried to open his eyes. Both his chest and face were filled with fiery pain. Barely able to move it to lift his arm, he reached up and touched his face. He felt bandages and let out a sobbing moan. Soft hands took a hold of his hand and moved it away from his face. It's okay, honey, don't touch the bandages. You're safe now. Robert let out a shuddering gasp. Where, where am I? You're in a hospital. You've been through a lot and you've been through a lot. You need to rest now. Why? Can't I see? Every word was an effort. Shh, you just rest. You need to give yourself a chance to heal. Why can't I see? Robert demanded again. 
This will help you sleep. Rest for now, and we'll talk later. Robert tried to protest, but he drifted quickly back off into the darkness, once again floating. So this guy's just lost his sight. He was just trying to go to breakfast, go to work, and poof. Now the song, the little poetry type stuff, when I had written this song, uh, part of my inspiration was a song by the Cranberries called Kiss Me. And I'd written that out and written the lyrics, and then it occurred to me that would violate their copyright. I can't just use their song. Um, you know, that's something they created. I don't want them to just start using my book for free. So I had to change it and rewrite this chorus of this original song myself. I don't have any music for it, but I have, all, I have the words written. And as, as you go along, this song plays in his head. I mean, what, what do you remember from the site? Do you remember the sunsets? Remember the people's faces you worked with? Do you remember things? You remember sounds sometimes. It's what you hear now, music. And so the music plays in his head and he hears this while he's getting better. Um, story also has to do with what happened to his friend Franklin, who he was walking to work with. Uh, it wasn't long enough to become a paperback book. It's a little short story. It's available on Kindle, Nook, things like that. You can get a PDF and read it. It's a good story. It is a little, has some graphic parts, deals with uh, nightmares he has, survivor's guilt for surviving when other people didn't make it, uh, deals with his loss of sight, some other guys in the hospital who lost things. It was, it's in some ways a difficult thing to read and write, but uh, it's a good story, I think. So check it out. It's called Kiss the Darkness. It's available from Secret Cravings Publishing. You can find it online, secretcravingspublishing.com. Or it's available on Amazon again, Nook. You get it for your Kindle or your Nook. So take a look. Close your eyes for about an hour to think about what it means to lose your sight. And uh, say a prayer for all the veterans out there now. Thanks.